and some tall people in the room. Uh, good evening, welcome. Uh, what you can see in front of you is um, generations, literally, of musicians who've been part of Musical Youth Orchestra, or as it used to be called in the olden days, Kirklees Youth Symphony Orchestra. Um, we've been joined by people from literally all over the UK, and we've had people fly in from Canada, from Norway, uh, we've come up from London, all sorts of uh, musicians come back to take part in this. We've had two and a half hours this afternoon of rehearsals uh, for a programme of music which is about uh, an hour and a half long. It's been quite a, an amazing afternoon. The sound is just fantastic. Um, we're here because Mr. Meredith behind me, he's, uh, he's hanging up his, his baton with Musica uh, Kirk Lees, but I need to point out he will still be waving his baton in front of other people as well, um, this sort. Um, and um, as, he t as he moves on, as he steps down from being principal, uh, more on that a little bit later. But uh, we thought we'd all get together. And the programme this evening has been made up. Uh, we've sent messages out to all sorts of former players and current players. What do you want to play? What do you want to play? Uh, the list, if we'd done everything, we would be here till about Monday afternoon. Um, so we've had to select a few, ones which have particular memories for Tom and for the members of the orchestra. And we're going to carry on now with Mozart's Ave Verum Corpus. This is a vocal piece with string quartet, quintet, sorry. Yes, quintet down here. And uh, they are going to accompany this. And the orchestra will sing uh, the, 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 the parts here. We did this once uh, in Italy, which we particularly remember, and the, the audience had absolutely no idea what was happening because the strings just started the introduction. Then the orchestra stood and sang. It was absolutely magical. It's one of those really good memories. So this is Mozart's Ave Verum Corpus with Mr. Meredith doing the baton.
Thank you very much. Um, as Nick said, it was a, a very memorable time uh, on tour when we sang that piece, and lots of these pieces that we've chosen tonight have come from that idea of they are a very memorable um, moment, a very memorable time and a place, um, not just for me, but for lots of the people behind me. Um, and uh, this next piece is, is no less uh, memorable. This is the one that uh, if you ply Mr. Dolling with a few drinks, he will tell you a story about this piece, um, but I'm not going to tell. I'm, I'm not sure whether it's true or not. It's to do with Roman soldiers, but no, he might be true. This is the Pines of Rome. Um, at one stage, we thought we might have four core anglaise to provide the solo here but i think good taste has got the better of us is that right we've gone for one we've just we've just gone for one we've gone for good taste instead um when we had uh, the first chord that these people played behind me this afternoon was absolutely awe-inspiring it was incredible you you must have felt in star wars good grief the town hall is going to be rattling with this absolutely amazing um they are a, a spectacular group of people to be working with more on that later um but i hope you enjoy listening to pines of rome and just listen out for something behind you as well
Thank you very much, and thank you to our, uh, our offstage brass there. Um, so a real sort of spatial spectacle as well. Um, the next piece you're going to hear is um, from um, the last five years, and it's uh, a musical the last five years, and it's the piece Still Hurting. And Lorna's going to sing this for us. Uh, I taught Lorna a few, just a few years ago. Um, and in one of our concerts, uh, she came and performed this piece. We arranged it for our strings to play as along with the piano. And I'm sure you're going to love this piece. It's an absolute, well, for, uh, for the last one, it's a nice sort of palate cleanser. So we can get nice and sort of calm and relaxed again. This is um, still hurting.
Lorna, you don't get away with that. Come on, you take a proper bow. Lovely. It was a real pleasure to teach Lorna, and uh, it's great to see her now. She's um, music lead at South Crossland School and doing wonderful things there, um, and lots and lots of singing going on there as well, which is great to see. Um, we are heading for our next, well, our first selection. Um, this is from Miss Saigon, which is probably my favourite musical ever. Um, it's it's a, an amazing musical. I've had the pleasure of going and seeing it in London, which was absolutely stu uh, stupendous. Um, and uh, Mr. Donning is going to conduct this one. And perhaps I ought to just say now, um, one of the somebody asked me at one stage, one of the Music Mark <laughs> conferences around um, fairly recently. They said, "What what's your philosophy on management?" Mm -hmm. I had to think very quickly because I thought, I don't really have a philosophy on management. We just sort of do what we do. So afterwards I thought, and I said to him, well, um, what I do is I try and surround myself with people who are a lot better than I am. Um, and it works really, really well. Um, so <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm going to introduce Nick to you because uh, he is better than me and he's going to conduct this one. So <laughs>
thoughts that I smell in the air, the American dream. Sweet as a new millionaire, the American dream. Pre-packed, ready to wear, the American dream. Fat like a chocolate eclair, as you suck out the green. By the tail, how can you fail? And best of all, it's the sale, the American dream. Greasy treats that they like so sleazy. In the States, I'll have a club that's for start. Men like me, there have been seasons. I'll have a lawyer and a body Grow hair, the American dream. Call girls are lighting Times Square, the American dream. The bums there have money to spare, the American dream. Slips down the drain.
Right, at the end of uh, most Leavers concerts, uh, which we have in June every year um, for that co cohort of the youth orchestra that's going on to other things, to universities or uh, elsewhere, um, we usually ask them if they'd like to play a certain number of pieces and they um, give us some suggestions. One that always comes up is Pirates of the Caribbean. Right from when we first got this piece out, Pirates of the Caribbean. We tried actually educating people and giving them different Pirates of the Caribbean from different films, but no, we want the original Pirates of the Caribbean. We didn't actually have it at our Youth Orchestra Leavers concert this year because we knew we were going to be playing it tonight. So by popular demand, this is Pirates of the Caribbean.
Pirates was one of those pieces which we've done at every single concert every single year. So even before the film came out. <laughs> it, it says a lot when you, it's, it's great when you get so many of the old players back and they actually see their own names on the, um, on the, on the sheet music. But some of them change some of the words. I'm not going to share that with you because it's not always suitable for a family audience. Uh, horn section. <laughs> we'll move on and we won't even get to the trombones. Um, so next, um, I mean, one of the things we've always tried to do with our youth orchestra, obviously it's an orchestra in its own right, but we try and do as many different variety of things as possible. But we also try and give uh, our students coming through um, as many opportunities to do something which they wouldn't normally do. And you've already heard Saigon, made up of uh, members of staff from Musical Kirklees and, uh, and former students from the Youth Orchestra. And we've got an absolute treat for you today, because um, one such young lady, and um, from a whole family of musicians, all three sisters are here tonight, two playing, one in the audience somewhere, the Cameron family. It's just great when families like that come and join us at Musica, because we can do so much with them. And they're just so naturally talented. Um, and today we've got Daisy. Daisy is going to sing uh, the theme to Skyfall, the Adele uh, song from the great uh, Bond film of the same, na same name. So could you please welcome Miss Daisy Cameron and Skyfall. Yes. 
that's why we like doing this job. You get to stay on the stage with all the people like this uh, playing. It's just such a good thing. It'd just be down in the audience there. What a great sound. Um, so now on to something slightly different. Now, Mr. Meredith, what do we know about Mr. Meredith? He can sing. He's quite good at that. We'll hear a little bit more of that in a second. Uh, he likes his cars. Big time. He likes going to Disneyland. Oh, and he likes dressing up. <laughs> so, sorry, Lynn, I'm not sure. I can't quite see you with all the lights, but uh, I, can, I can imagine the look on your face at the moment. <laughs> um, every time we take the, the staff orchestra around schools uh, before Christmas, uh, each year, so, right, we program it. Let's do this, 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 this. This is new at the moment. Let's do that. Let's do that. And and every single year, Mr. Meredith comes out with at least three or four different costumes. So when we load the van with all the instruments, which is normally quite a challenge in a week like that, suddenly we've got about seven or eight dressing up boxes. But we don't really know where he gets them all from. Um, so I, I don't know if he's got an account at one of those, um, oh, be careful I say that, uh, one of those websites where you get things to dress up with, I don't know. Um, so I just had to fill a bit of time because rumor has it that His Royal Highness King George the Third. And that's not even the same one he had at Christmas. He's got another outfit since then. So, Mr. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Uh, I would say, sorry, Your Royal Highness King George the Third from Hamilton, you'll be back. of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea which you hurl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement when you went away. Now you're making me mad. Remember despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You'll be back, soon you'll see. You'll remember you belong to me. You'll be back, time will tell. You'll remember that I served you well. Oceans rise, empires fall. Just remember that we had it all. And when push comes to shove, I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 da, ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 ya da 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 da. You say my love is draining and you can't go on. You'll be the one complaining. When I am gone And no, don't change the subject Cause you're my favorite subject My sweet, submissive subject My loyal, royal subject Forever and ever And ever and ever I will fight the fight and win the war For your love, for your graves And I'll love you till my dying days When you're gone, I'll go mad So please don't throw away this thing we've had Cause when push comes the shove I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 da
absolutely brilliant. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Um, so now we're going to carry on with another movie soundtrack. We did this performance here once, and some of the students behind me were with us uh, when we did this. And we did a, a collaboration with um, Hardeep Zahota, one of the finest musicians around in the area. And uh, we, did, we did a great event, and it was all about Bollywood music. So what we did, we, we did a mixture of the orchestral side of things, and we had Bollywood uh, dancing, and we had uh, the dole drums as well. Unfortunately, they were doing something else this evening, so we couldn't be here. But what happened halfway through this, this piece of music, uh, literally from the top uh, doors by the organ, the dole drums appeared, and then uh, Hardeep had come up to one of our rehearsals and taught the students some Bangra dancing. And it was just brilliant, because what happened was half of the orchestra basically stopped playing, which we planned, you know, we, we had everything covered. And then literally at the front of the stage, you had all the, um, all the musicians and the dancers from the Bangor group uh, in the ama most amazing costumes. And then you had half of these guys with their DJs and their dresses on, all dancing. It was absolutely fantastic. I say, we're just going to do the boring version tonight. Um, but it's one where we played it um, the other night. A few people get a little bit weepy because it's one of those tunes. It won an Oscar uh, from the film Moulin Rouge uh, because it was the only original piece in the entire score. Not that that's why they put it in, surely, just to win an Oscar for an original piece because uh, the rest of it is obviously all covers. Um, so conduct this. I think he should have got his crown off now. Uh, can you welcome back Tom to the stage? I have to say, Nick did actually challenge me to wear a different outfit for every piece that I conducted, but I've been on stage too much, I can't, can't go and change, so I have to make do with this one.
One other, uh, another amazing mem memory, there are so many um, that I'm lucky to be able to take away with me, um, was of singing uh, Les Mis, a selection from Les Mis uh, on this very stage. And uh, the first time that we performed it, uh, my son sang and uh, his future wife sang as well, Ellie, who is now Ellie Sachs of great world renowned. Um, and, uh, and so Harry and Ellie joined us on stage and sang that. We've done it many times um, since then. Um, sometimes with different groups of people, and Tricia has sung it, um, Sophie up in the trumpets has sung it. Anybody else want to lay claim to any performances of Les Mis? No. Um, and we, we actually put it up on YouTube, one of them on YouTube, but everything you put on YouTube, if it has the word Les Mis on it, just gets completely cut, so you're not allowed to do that. Um, so it's actually down as Ralph Barker and KYSO. Did you know that? <laughs> So if you want to search for Ralph Barker and KYSO, then you'll hear the, uh, the version of Les Mis that, that we did. Um, so I think of our, a wonderful array of um, singers and soloists here. I should go down, shouldn't I? Name. I should. There's Trisha, there's Steph, there's Lorna, there's Sam, who I couldn't see, sorry. There's Sula, there's Sarah, there's Hannah, Sue and... Trisha at the end. Is that everybody? Oh, and some as well. Yeah, thank you so much to our amazing singers. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, singing with us and making it such a special evening. It's been great. So, um, Mr. Simons is going to conduct uh, Les Mis for us. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Simons? <laughs>
Oh, so many memories. So I'm treading on all the scores. I do apologize. Um, Nick said, um, we'll keep, we, we've scripted everything. We'll make sure we sort of put things in the right place um, so that we know what we're introducing and what we're not introducing. Um, and I said, I just would like to say something at the end, if that's all right. Um, and he said, oh, go on then. So um, it's really, I was, I was writing down, I thought, shall I go... Um, what I usually do and just waffle, or shall I write something down? I started writing things down. And I thought, no, it doesn't sound like me. I'll go back to the waffle. Um, so I just wanted to say it's really a list of, of thank yous. Um, my time at Musica Kirklees and KMS, Kirklees Music School before that, has been uh, absolutely joyous. I've really enjoyed the, the job that I've done. Uh, and the people I've worked with. Um, we have lots of them here tonight. We have our wonderful office staff who are sitting there. We have members of the board who've come and supported who are in the, the box there. We have some of our teaching staff who are in the audience, some who are in the orchestra as well. Um, and seeing some of our ex-students come back as teachers uh, as well for us, um, not only makes us feel, well, very old, but it makes us feel um, that we've done something right um, and that we've done our bit to sort of inspire people to continue with music and to, to take uh, their music on to the, the next level. Um, and some of them, well, they are all stunning performers. When we go and do our, um, uh, our tour around schools over Christmas, and the staff orchestra plays, you think, this is really, really stunning, absolutely amazing. And then hearing them tonight, these people behind me uh, play, um, has been, it's been quite overwhelming, to be honest. Um, and uh, I, I didn't quite know what to say. When, when Nick said at the end of the rehearsal, do you want to say anything? Um, and I just said no. <laughs> and, and I walked off because I couldn't think of the right words uh, to say. And it's... Um, it's a very, I suppose, a very proud moment. Um, it's a very sad moment for me to be stepping away um, from such amazing uh, people and amazing music making. But the lovely thing is that I know it's in really good hands. Um, I know that Nick will do a brilliant job. Nick is taking over as, as principal next year, and I couldn't be happier um, that he's going to be there at the helm of, of the organization. Um, we've got incredible area managers who work so hard to get things going in all areas of Kirklees, and such dedicated teachers who spend their time over and above you know, what we can actually pay them for. <laughs> doing brilliant, brilliant music making. And I've been around all the music centers uh, over the last term uh, and, and uh, just seen the, the amazing work and it's given me a chance to say goodbye to people as well. But probably the, the main thing that we do, the main reason that we do what we do um, is because of these people and some uh, young people in the audience who've come and, and who are learning to play as well. Because as teachers, um, that's what makes us tick. Um, and it's something about seeing not only the young people that we are working with at the moment, but also when they leave and they go on to other things and they do amazing musical things and amazing other things like working in nuclear engineering and, and incredible things like that that I can only dream of how you actually sort of get a job doing that kind of thing. Um, they are stunning young people. They are the young people who are going to be the movers and shakers of our world in the future. Um, and it's been an absolute privilege Sorry. <laughs> nearly, nearly. <laughs> it's been an absolute privilege um, to work with them uh, and the staff over the years. So could I just ask you to make one massive round of applause for all these young people uh, and not so young behind me. You are amazing. We love you. Also, Mr. Meredith leaves an absolute mess on a podium. Goodness. This is I want to wear that. <laughs> I think I've just stood on a really expensive score. Oops. Um, we are approaching the end of our evening. Um, we do have some massive thank yous. And as ever, we always say we can't mention everyone because we forget someone. I'm really good at forgetting most people. Um, but I have written a few names down here. Nikki Matthews, she's around somewhere. She's Tom's PA. She's done so much for this. 
Thank you, Nikki. We, and some of the, you know, an organisation like Music and Kirklees really doesn't work with, without uh, our amazing office staff, but also our instrumental team. Chris is down there, Claire's somewhere up there somewhere, I'm not entirely sure. But with what they do to get even a van full of instruments, and trust me, we've got a massive van to fit all that percussion. We've never had seven timpanis at a concert before, but I hope you think it was worth it. And, and they make everything work. It's, oh, could we get this, could we get that? And we sort of normally give them about an hour's notice, and they just make it happen. So thank you both, it's massively appreciated. <laughs> As ever, the, uh, the town hall staff, fantastic. Charlie, up in the lighting and sound, has just worked his magic all day. So easy to work with. The staff of the Youth Orchestra, we've got all sorts of people behind. We've got uh, Rachel, we've got Will, we've got Peter, we've got Tom. And who's the other one? Mrs. Bell as well. No. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll do a bit here and there, but don't worry about that. Um, they're, they're absolutely brilliant. And I think when people leave the group to go on to, you know, Pastors New, uh, they remember the enjoyment, which is what it's all about. And of course, we mustn't forget parents and taxis, grandparents and all that, because if you don't bring them, it's pointless us being there, really, so thank you. Um, we have got one little piece for you. It's something slightly different, but you think, oh, have we got Mr. Meredith anything? Well, we went to the pound shop and got a card, <laughs> um, but I forgot to get the envelope. Um, so instead, Alex, could you bring that little bag over? We're going to make Mr. Meredith, Mr. Meredith open this in front of you, okay, because we've spent some time and thought on this. So, Mr. Meredith, would you have to like to look on this box? Do you want to come and describe it on the microphone, what's in it? <laughs> There's no outfits. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. It's uh, the Musica Youth Orchestra dedicated... Annual. Uh, annual. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> oh, that's going to some amazing memories in there. And, you, and in there. I, I looked quite young. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while ago. <laughs> um, and in there, there are many, many, many comments from uh, players who could be here and also from players who couldn't. So I'll let you do that. What have we got in that little so box, Mr. Meredith? Uh, I can't pronounce the first bit of it, but it's Ines Bowtie. Ooh. Oh. Good heavens, that's amazing. Right. And there's a, a, a pocket now, I, really? square as well, which right. if you look closely, you'll find has got all the dates oh. Oh, of all the tours right. and the major events we've played at. That's amazing. Thank you so much. You can put it on yeah. if you want to. That's so. absolutely fine. <laughs> and then we've got a mankini. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing, sorry. <laughs> it really didn't. Oh, what's that? Good heavens. And... Uh, could be, oh no, that's the uh, hinge bit. Oh, wow. It's uh, like a baton with a really heavy end you can hit people with. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a gold plated baton because wow. you've been wow. a gold plated <laughs> person, sir. <laughs> and also, there's a, a little thing lots of people wanted to come together uh, and give you a present. Um, so, we've got in there somewhere. Again, Natalie from our office is just an absolute genius. She's made uh, a gift voucher in there which you might want to have a quick look at. Uh, so, <laughs> careful with your back when you get to your end. <laughs> Sorry, I nearly swore. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hopefully generous. that will take you down to London to go and see more musicals. <laughs> when you have all this time on your hands while the rest of us <laughs> keep the country running. <laughs> And a uh, big thank you from everyone here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so, sorry, Mr. Meredith, come back again. Sorry, sorry. We thought, who could we get here as a special treat? Because people come literally from all over the world. Um, we've got a very, very special guest was not easy to get this person here. Um, so I don't know if you're around. If, if you are, you know who you are.
all the way from Florida, Mr. Mickey Mouse, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we, did, we only paid for three minutes, off we go. <laughs> so we come to our last piece, we're gonna get all the vocalists back up here. Um, this piece was something we planned to do um, in the Royal Albert Hall a few years ago, but there was a little pandemic got in the way and uh, the gig got cancelled. So we thought we'd rewrite it. And it's called, I'm not sure what we put it in your program as, it's either called the Mr. Meredith Musical Kirkley's Medley or as we've got it on our stage, uh, on our stands over here is the Big Cheese Suite. It is cheesy. We would love it if you could join in. It is a medley of music from the last 50 years, some one-hit wonders. Um, it's meant to be more relaxed than some of the classical stuff we've already done tonight. Um, it's a lot of fun. We've got all sorts of songs. If anyone can... <laughs> Charlie, can we... Can we get a line down and hang him up and spin him round so we can get the glitter ball effect? That is a jacket, Mr. Murray. Um, I hope you enjoy a final piece. And it wouldn't be a youth orchestra concert without a saying, if anyone can help, please get all the percussion down to the van at the end. It'd be really helpful. Um, some of the old students are going off to Bar Maroc afterwards, uh, and anyone's welcome to join us and drink. It's not a private door or anything. It's just somewhere to meet and have an informal chat. Uh, Mr. Murray's going to have his normal half a shandy. And uh, enjoy our finale piece. It is a bit silly, it's cheesy, it's ridiculous. You'll never hear anything like it again, all being well. And this is the Mr. Meredith Cheese Suite.
something special, in fact, I'm a bit of a bore. If I crack a joke, then you've probably heard it before. We want every bit of it, whatever musicianship is left in him. We're just going to do that last little bit again. Please join in. It'd be great to hear all your voices. Thank you for the music, Mr. Who.
Ladies and gentlemen, one last time, Mr. Tom Meredith.